या देवी सर्वभूतेश शक्ति रूपेण संस्थिता अल्लाह तमाम दुआ को रहमो कर अपने अपने हबीब के सज्जन में कबूल फरमा वाहेगुरु जी का मल्टी फेथ सेरेमनी टू इंडक्ट इंडियाज लाइट कॉम्बैट हेलीकॉप्टर व्हिच हैज नाउ बीन नेम प्रचंड व्हिच मींस फियर्स The Prachand now enters service with 143 helicopter unit in Jodhpur and is being simultaneously inducted into the army. Of the 15 initial choppers ordered, 10 are being inducted into the IAF, 5 go to the army. The total cost 3887 crores. Both services are expected to induct upwards of 50 Prachand helicopters each. Prachand Shakti, Prachand Veer और प्रचंड प्रहार की क्षमता वाले इस एल का इंडक्शन हमारी एयरफोर्स की कैपेबिलिटी में बढ़ोतरी के साथ साथ रक्षा उत्पादन क्षेत्र में आत्मनिर्भरता की ओर भी यह एक बड़ा कदम है लेटर द मिनिस्टर फ्लू ऑन द प्रचंड इज फ्लोन ऑन द इंडियन एयरफोर्सेस टू कोई थर्टीज अर्लियर फॉर द जोधपुर बेस्ड स्क्वाड्रन इंडक्टिंग द चौपर टूडे is a huge day a chance to fly a world class hunter killer job and we've spoken uh, about high altitudes but this is equally adept at flying less than tree top height as well right in the desert where there are no trees as i told you this aircraft is highly maneuverable it it is responds to the pilot input instantaneously and because of that we can fly it as low as possible in bad weather conditions uh, in 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 day and night and all kinds of terrain so it is beautiful it can fly so many great things the prachand weighs 5.8 tons it can fly at altitudes in excess of 16000 feet in ladakh it's armed with missiles rockets and a cannon developed after the kargil war when the existing choppers at the time were unable to carry out their high altitude missions the prachand has a key role to play in ladakh against chinese threats the engine of course uh, it's co developed it's called the shakti variants of this engine actually do service on the advanced uh, light helicopter as well tell us about the engine how does it work well with this airframe as far as the design of the engine is concerned it is a very powerful engine uh, wherein it has been designed to match the uh, characteristics of the uh, transmission system and it gives us the option to uh, you know fly the machine at the highest peaks of the uh, himalayas so that is what it has been made uh in the country itself to you know operate in the himalaya regions and operate at the highest peaks so as far as the buzz in this squadron is concerned it is like we uh, are working day and night and still we are fresh and we are uh, excited and uh, you know we have that enthusiasm always there uh, so we are working towards operationalizing the platform at the earliest for that we have got pilots from different streams uh, so we have you know a varied experience in akiti that we are utilizing well so that is the kind That's of buzz is, is yeah, going on and, and uh, it is uh, definitely a proud uh, privilege for all of us to be a uh, part of this elite group of the lch uh, trail blazers and uh, we are all honored to have been uh, chosen to shoulder this responsibility and uh, definitely it will be our uh, sincere endeavor to perform to the best of our uh, ability to operationalize uh, this uh, state of the art machine uh, the fleet to its full uh, capacity and capability at the earliest So we have the Tejas for the fighter aircraft, Prachand for um, the light combat helicopter that you can see uh, behind me now. A handful of these are being inducted into the Indian Air Force. In the first allotment, the uh, government had sanctioned 15 helicopters, 10 for the Air Force, five for the Indian Army. These are progressively entering both services. Ultimately, we expect the Army to operate as many as 95, perhaps approximately 65 for the Indian Air Force. Vishnu Shom for NDTV.